Hey guys, welcome to TechSource.TV. My name's Dan, and today it's more like an update video, and what's up to come on the show. Um, so around me, you might notice we have some water cooling stuff, or liquid cooling, as some people have corrected me. Um, either way you like to call it, um, I'm going to call it water cooling because it uses some kind of a liquid that's somewhat, almost like a water. But anyways, so if you guys remember, not too long ago, we did a water cooling review, and we also had a build stream, which kind of turned and failed, but... Um, we tried. <laughs> and um, so we reviewed that. It was from aquatuning.co.uk. And those guys were really cool. And they sent us the kit. And uh, the kit's been awesome. It's been working great. Uh, there's no algae buildup in it at all. It's an awesome kit. Now, the only thing I've changed out is the fans. And um, my only comment he asked me is, what would you change to the kit personally? And I said, the reservoir. And maybe the pump. But so... That's what we're doing. We're going to update the kit in the way I think, in my vision, in my eyes, I would see fit better. Um, but the way the kit came was great, and it would work in so many different cases, which was awesome. So things like these reservoirs I don't think would work in every kind of case, but uh, it's pretty awesome. So let's. I'm going to go, go over some of the things we got uh, from them. And um, as, as usual, aquatuning.co.uk sponsored this video and helped us out getting a lot of cool stuff. So, first things first is our new reservoir. It's a Phobia, ba uh, Phobia Balancer 250 Black Nickel. So, as you can see, it's got uh, nickel bottoms, and they are black uh, and top, which is really cool. So, we got a fill port on the top. We have four different ports on the bottom. They came with plugs to plug up uh, at least all four of them if you want, and that's really cool. Um, and this comes out of the uh, actual unit. So, as you can see, it comes out nice, and... Uh, it's kind of, I guess, a divider of some kind. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, it looks like when I unscrewed it, I put a line inside the uh, the uh, plastic. That's kind of odd. All right. Weird. Yeah, it rubs right against the plastic. Odd. Anyways, it came with a mounting system. As well as, because our pump right now, the way it's set up is to meant to work with that dry bay reservoir. And I was like, well, damn, I'm going to need a new pump. But I found out the uh, Lang DTC pump, that's what it's called, the one that we use. Um, it actually can be adapted with this Phobia adapter, which is this pretty much giant, like, solid metal block. And you screw it on the top of it, you unscrew the old top, and now you can have regular uh, G1 quarter fittings, which is really cool. So you can have it either way you want. And I'm going to put, I don't know, I just put these fittings on for demonstration purposes. We just quickly screw it on. And we got new fittings, too. These are nickel, black nickel-plated fittings. And I uh, got a whole fitting kit as well. Which is really good. So instead of just the straight angles that the kit came with, now we got some right angles, which is a lot nicer, and that should help with cleaning up some of the mess. So we got these nice uh, compression straight angle ones here, and they came with six of these. We have two of the uh, right angle hose on hose one, which is really good as well, and um, got a nice weight to it. And we have the uh, one quarter threading on one end and the hose on the other, so this will be good. I'm probably going to use this for the video card and maybe our uh, CPU block. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do. So, and it came with uh, two of these and and two of the uh, hose on hose, and it came with four of the hose with threads um, in the fitting kit. So that's pretty cool. It's a nice fitting kit uh, as well. Is this is the, the whole reason about it is adding a GPU to the loop. So because of, as you guys may know, my recent purchase of a GTX 680 Amp Edition from Zotac, uh, I bought a really good deal. And after uh, all my mail and rebates and everything like that, I saved over, the card retails normally at $550. I saved over $250 on that card, which is insane. So I got a really good deal for it. And a lot of people are complaining, going, oh my god, you bought a Zotac card. It's actually a really good card. And it runs really nice and quiet. So I haven't, over, I haven't done any benchmarks yet, but a review will be out soon for that. So this is the water block. It's a copper water block with a uh, black polished finish on it. I'm not going to take it out because I don't want to get any fingerprints or anything all dirty on it until we install it. Um, and it's also made by, oh, this one's made by OC Cool. And it's really nice. It's designed in Germany, but made in China. It's got uh, really nice CNC mill work on the back. And it's all solid copper with nice fittings on the end. And again, it's uh, G1 quarter threadings. And to top it all off, we got some new hosings. We're going to need some extra hosing because uh, we used all the hosing we had last time. And I only have a very, very little amount left. Um, so we got an extra two meters of hosing. And it's pretty much it's the exact same one we had last time. And to top it all off and... Because we're going to have a new reservoir and a new loop with new parts, it might as well get some new fluid as well. Last time we had some clear liquid. Now we're going with some colored liquid. This is the Mayhem Aurora 
uh, Nebula uh, liquid. Now, if you're not familiar with the Mayhem liquids, they are probably one of the coolest looking liquids I've seen. They're actually really awesome. When you put them in your system, they actually look like they're moving, which is really awesome and really cool. And I'm really excited for that. We'll definitely have a video of that showing how it looks um, in full 1080p gloriness, or awesomeness, I should say. And some specs about this, it's got, uh, it's uh, boiling point is up to 98 degrees Celsius, freezing point is 20, minus 25 Celsius, and it protects against copper, brass, steel, nickel, aluminum, and it's really nice. So and it can be stored up to three years in a cool, dry environment. So if you don't use it, it can actually have a three-year shelf life, which is really good. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. So stick around. We're going to have a video on how to install this block on your GTX 680. We're going to have a video on how to add this to your loop. Um, along with this, and then we're gonna have a video on how to upgrade your Lang DTC pump, and we'll have a video on how to rebleed your system and how to empty it properly. So there's gonna be a whole bunch of different videos throughout the stages of doing the whole system. Um, it's gonna be definitely this weekend's project along with building uh, a case over there we just unboxed. So it's gonna be a fun weekend for me. So, and we're gonna be quite busy. So stick around guys to TechSource.TV. Videos for all this stuff will be coming up very soon.